This training mission follows the procedures described on the flight manual of the real aircraft, adapted for use on the F-4C aircraft module, created by VSN for DCS. The mission includes the following sections, taxi, before launch, launch, departure, and climb. Press spacebar to begin. If the cockpit interior is too dark, activate the flashlight with left alt plus L. If the yellow cross cursor is not visible, press left alt plus left shift plus C to make it appear. You can adjust the sound volume produced by the background air traffic by moving the in-cockpit sound slider on the DCS options, audio screen, which you can access by pressing the escape key. This instructor's volume level can be adjusted with the helmet sound slider. Also, you can press spacebar to skip long voiceovers. You already completed the before taxi procedure on the prior carrier cold start training mission. Taxiing aboard the ship is much the same as on land, nose gear steering is excellent and requires minimum power while taxiing. Today, we can launch from either catapults 3 or 4, at your preference, the figure shows the route we will follow. Nose gear steering, engage and check. To steer the Phantom, you press and hold the nose wheel steering binding, and then use the rudder pedals to steer the aircraft. Increase the throttle slightly and as soon as it begins to roll, turn sharply to the left. Good, steer towards the stern of the ship, on the left side of the deck, taxi slowly as the deck can be quite cramped. Now turn right, towards the port edge of the flight deck. Good. Now turn right again, towards the chosen catapult. You are almost at the catapult, stop and lower the bridle, using the launch bar toggle binding, the nose of the aircraft will rise. Then, proceed forward and strive to align with the catapult's shuttle. You are now near enough to the catapult. Press the U key to hook up, the carrier crew will then attach your aircraft to the catapult. If the command does not work, then you are too far back. Get nearer and retry, use F2 view if possible. Good, now that you are still and properly hooked to the catapult, you should do a brief launch checklist. Engines, run up. Hold will brakes and increase throttles to 85% while checking engine instruments for normal readings. Return throttles to idle. Compass heading, check. Complete the takeoff checklist. Flight controls, checked. Move the flight stick on all directions, and same with the rudder pedals. Wings, unfold wings, with the right control plus P keys. Trim, set to one unit nose down. Flaps. Set full flaps, for carrier launch. Hook. Check it's up. We are now ready to launch. Since events will happen rather quickly, let's review first the launch procedure. You will move the throttle to full afterburner, while at the same time pull the flight stick back around one third to one half. Do not apply full back stick. Then give the crew the salute signal, with left shift plus left control plus S. You may want to bind this onto a HOTAS button instead. Wait for the catapult to launch. As soon as the aircraft leaves the deck, hold the stick and allow the aircraft to attain a flyaway attitude with a minimum of 4 aft stick movement. Retract the gear as soon as possible, to reduce drag, by clicking its lever or pressing the G key. OK, you are now ready to launch. Increase throttle to full afterburner, pull the stick back one third to one half of its travel, and then give the salute signal, with left shift plus left control plus S.
On the air, retract the landing gear. At 225 knots, raise the flaps to half flaps, with left control plus F. Once a positive rate of climb is established, execute a slight turn to stay clear of the ship's path. Climb to 500 feet and then fly parallel to the ship's heading of 180 degrees. At 300 knots, raise the flaps fully and throttle out of afterburner. Continue straight ahead at 500 feet and 400 knots, paralleling the ship until 7 nautical miles from the carrier. Maintain 500 feet altitude until 7 miles from the carrier. Keep a speed of 400 knots until 7 miles from the carrier. Maintain 500 feet altitude until 7 miles from the carrier. Maintain 500 feet altitude until 7 miles from the carrier. Keep a speed of 400 knots until 7 miles from the carrier. You are now at 7 nautical miles from the carrier. You may now climb along your planned route and accelerate to cruise speed. You may now climb along your planned route and accelerate to cruise speed. Your heading should be 45 degrees, climb speed 400 knots, adjust pitch trim to attain a 10 degree angle on the ADI. Congratulations, you have learned to taxi and launch from a carrier, and climb to an altitude of 5,000 feet. You have successfully finished this training mission, please exit the training by pressing the spacebar key.